The school levies are happening in February in part because, well, that's when they always happen. When a previous levy expires, usually every three years, districts will typically propose a new one right away. But why were levies ever put in special elections in the first place? School leaders say to avoid having their issue get bogged down in the chaos and politics of a full election cycle. We know that during a general election, uh, when there are a variety of different uh, ballot initiatives and political offices that are on the ballot, that there's lots of information out there. And there, um, there's only, uh, you know, people only have so much time to, to read through and to, to make sure that they're informed. And our levy and funding model is, it, it can be really complicated. It can also reduce the risk of the levy somehow getting tied to a more controversial issue or candidate, thus sparking opposition that might not otherwise exist. And furthermore, turnout in these elections is typically pretty low, meaning only the most civically engaged voters participate and they have a history of approving levies. Here's a graph of the turnout rate in the last five special elections in Spokane County. You can see it usually hovers between 30 and 40% of eligible voters. County elections leaders say it might actually be bigger this year because unlike in previous special elections, postage on ballots this year is included for free. That does also mean the election will cost a little extra for the county to run. Current estimates are about half a million dollars. Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.